Hi everyone and welcome to our baking session. I'm Frida from Hearts and Middlesex Wildlife Trust. The Trust is a local wildlife charity and our mission is to protect wildlife across Hertfordshire and Middlesex and to connect people to nature. And this is why we're baking delicious hedgehog cookies today. Before we start baking though, let's talk about hedgehogs. This means that they sleep during the day and are active at night. So while you're cuddled up in bed having sweet dreams, the hedgehog might be roaming through your garden. So hedgehogs are one of only three mammals in the UK that go into hibernation. Hibernation is a bit like a really, really deep sleep. So during the summer, they spend lots of time gaining weight, eating as much as they can, so that those fat reserves will take them through the winter when they're cuddled up somewhere in a nice pile of logs, sleeping away. Hedgehogs are also known as the gardener's friend. They act as natural pest control will happily hoover up all these pesky slugs and snails. Sadly, hedgehogs are in trouble. Over the last 20 years alone, we have lost over 50% of hedgehog populations. But here's the good news, you can do something to help. Hedgehogs will happily live in our garden if we make it a little more hedgehog friendly which sadly many of our gardens nowadays aren't. There are a few ways you can make your garden hedgehog friendly without too much effort. First off, the hedgehog needs to have access to your garden. So hedgehogs can roam up to two miles a night and they normally have a large territory of spanning several gardens. So it's really important that they can get from one garden to the next. Go together with your neighbours and create a little hedgehog highway by creating little holes in your fence. The second point is food. If you have a wildlife friendly garden, chances are it's hedgehog friendly. If not, you can still feed the hedgehog. You can give them cat food or specialist hedgehog food. It's really important for them, particularly in summer, because they have to fatten up for the winter. Another point is water. Hedgehogs like a drink, so if you create a little pond or a water feature, they'll be more likely to come to your garden. But first, let's get baking. Here's all you need for this recipe. You don't need any fancy kitchen equipment or ingredients. All you need is some butter, sugar, flour, an egg, vanilla extract, I used vanilla sugar, chocolate for melting and chocolate sprinkles. And then mix everything together, starting with the butter and the sugar, then the egg and then the flour. You can use a hand mixer to combine all the ingredients, but it's best to get your hands in there and really knead the dough. Make sure it's really nice and smooth before rolling it out around 5mm thick. Then you can use a glass or a cookie cutter to cut a round shape and then use your fingers to form the pointy snout of the hedgehog. Take them out and let them cool when they're golden brown. In the meantime, melt the chocolate. Once they're completely cold, you can start decorating our hedgehogs. I use a baking brush to spread the chocolate on it, but you can also dip them in the molten chocolate, although it might be a bit messier. Spread the chocolate all over the hedgehog's body, but spare its face. Once that is done, sprinkle on the hedgehog's spines. Did you know that hedgehogs have five to seven thousand of those? Finally, use a chopstick or something similar to add the eyes and the little snout. And there you go! Here's your perfect little delicious hedgehog. <laughs> 